You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we are going to be going over the new season and just all the rewards in NBA 2K22 my team so obviously guys we are getting a content drop you guys can see Danny Ferries of the world Mike Miller Bruce Bowen does look like even uh uh, all the uh, all the not original owner cards. So Giannis, obviously Kobe, Jalen Green, Baron Davis, Joe Johnson. You know all those cards. But we're gonna be talking about all the original owner cards that we did get today in NBA 2K22. My team, all the season seven reward cards. And as we dive into that today, guys, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road towards 100,000 subscribers starting off with Stacy Ogman 68611 wingspan hot spots from three to five spots around the arc here's the deal with Stacy is this card horrible no jump shot five on very quick quick dribble style looks like he can compete on both ends of the court I'm gonna say Amethyst Stacy Ogman is not horrible at all this card can play a little bit now is he the best card in the game no but for an Amethyst again the card is not bad so uh, Levine's in the exchange. Stacey Ogman's just this season seven uh, reward. When we look at Levine here exchange wise, please guys, whatever you do, do not lock in for this exchange. That's all I can tell you. I mean, just don't do it. This card is horrible. This exchange, Zach Levine, is absolutely abysmal. The, maybe the worst card we'll get all of today. Ronald Murray up next six four six ten wings. Man, out spots from four to five plays around the arc. Thirteen out of famous. Thirty nine on gold. Decent three ball, good driving dunks, three ball, ball handle, 94 speed, 93 lateral quickness. Defensive badges, I mean, they're okay, right? I, I can't sit here and say they're great. They're okay. I'll have him quick first step shooting wise. Uh, looks pretty solid for Mr. Ronald Murray. Tendency wise, solid across the board. Treyberg base on very quick, comes with shifty dribble style as well. So, I mean, the thing is for Ronald Murray, I can't say he's going to be a top point guard in the game, but again, for a free card. Ronald Murray is more than usable. Leon Poe up next. 6'8", 6'11", wingspan. No hot spots from three-point line. And he can't even shoot threes, and he's 6'8", power forward center. Yeah, I'm not talking about you any longer. You're horrible. AC Green up next. 6'9", 7'4", wingspan. Okay, he's got a little bit of a three-ball. 85 standing driving duck. Decent enough speed ball. Bono, 91 speed, 95 lateral quickness. Defensively, very solid. And again, at 6'9", Card is very solid. Jump shot four. I'm very quick. I want to show you guys something with AC Green. You give him Don Nelson. He's got a 92 three ball, 99 speed, 99 interior, 99 perimeter. Great badge wise. Comes with jump shot four. I'm very quick. Shift dribble style. Kobe size of escape. This AC Green card for an exchange is really good. Now, I'm not saying you guys need to lock him in. But if he is like, let's say, 5,000 MT, which he won't be. But if he is really, really cheap. I don't have a problem if you lock in for, for my man, AC Green, because I do think he is very solid in my team. Daniel Marshall up next, 6'9", 7 foot wingspan hot spots from everywhere, 19 on the famers, 28 on gold, 95 three ball, 80 driving deck, 87 super ball, 86 ball, 88 speed, 84 lateral quickness. Does have a ton of Hall of Fame shooting badges in general. Tendency wise, not great. Jump shot nine on very quick. Again, don't know exactly what that release is going to be like, probably pretty mid. Danielle Marshall is not great in my team. It's that simple. He's not, I can't sit here and say he's horrible, but he's definitely not great. Danny Green up next, 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, wingspan on spots from everywhere outside the three-point line. Clutch time reward, 19 out of favors, 34 on gold, 97 three-ball. Decent standing driving duck, 89 seat ball, 86 ball, 90 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. 80 interior is a little bit low. But again, I think he's the 10 win reward in clutch time. And for the 10 win reward, he is fine. Jump shot 13 on very quick shifty dribble style. Not necessarily the best shooting guard in the game, but he is fine for the 10 win reward. Adrian Dantley, token reward here for a Galaxy Opal 6'5", 6'8", wingspan. Jump shot 56. So they gave him a better release on very quick. Going to be a fine release. 86 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 91 two ball, 86 ball, 94 speed acceleration. Defensively, very mid, very mediocre. This card, Adrian, Adrian Dantley, just is not great in my team. And it really comes down to his defensive stats. Like, what are those, man? What are those? It's absolutely pretty abysmal in there. Zion, obviously, is just a free reward you get right away. I'm guessing he's going to have the Zion base, which he does. It's going to be pretty gross. Quick drip style, Kobe size of escape. 
card isn't still going to be terrible. I know he's got a pretty bad release, but this card is going to be more than usable at that power four position. Again, release wise, going to struggle, but outside of that, he is going to be just fine. And I'm pretty sure you get him right away if I if I am thinking right. White side up next, seven feet tall, seven seven wingspan. Okay, he's got a little bit of a three ball badge wise, only 38 base badges. Does have some good defensive badges in there. Ball handling wise, not great. Inside scoring, not great. This card is not good either. And I'm, I'm not trying to sit here and, and hammer that point down, but these Galaxy Open Token Rewards are simply put not very good in my team. Austin Carr, another season four your season seven reward. Six four six seven wingspan does come with a lot of badges. 87 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 96 three ball, 90 ball under, 96 speed acceleration, good lateral quickness. This card's very solid. Uh, for a free card, uh, what he should be, jump shot 31, a very quick, quick dribble style. This card is really solid in my team. Problem is he's only 6'4". Okay, that is the problem. But stat-wise, again, very solid. Paul Westfall looks like it's going to be our 50-win reward in clutch time. 6'4", 6'7", wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 24 out of famers, 29 on gold. 94, 3 ball, 85, driving deck, 92, super ball, 90, ball handle, 92, speed acceleration, 94, lateral quickness. Really good interior, good perimeter as well. This is what we wanted Pistol Pete Maravich to look like. Ray Allen based on very quick shifty dribble style. Does get the Kobe's uh, signature combo, which I, I don't know exactly what that's like. Lucas size of escape, trade, and boom, by the back. Do I think Paul Westfall is going to be the best card in the game? No, but I do think he's going to be really at least solid enough in my team, especially in clutch time. Bob Lanier, triple threat offline reward. 6'11", 72 wingspan, hot spot from both corners. 33 out of famers, 21 on gold. 83 ball is a little low for my liking. 90 standing driving duck. Good ball handler. 90 speed acceleration, 90 lateral quickness. Here's the deal. Defensively going to be very solid. Does come with a jump shot. Nine, not a great release on very quick. We'll see again what that's like. Quick dribble style in there as well. I'm not necessarily that high on Bob Lanier, but the card is not horrible. Tim Hardaway, I think is is, is the reward for winning the domination. I'm pretty confident, but again, guys, he's a six five or six foot point guard that basically has everything else, right? It's that simple. Jump shot 40 on very quick, still is not good. Quick dribble style, uh, uh, just Tim Hardaway's size ups and stuff like that, which I don't know what it's going to be like. This card's not very good. It's that simple. Tim Hardaway, not very good in my team. So now we'll get to the the, the more exciting players. Anton James, token reward, 6874 wingspan, hot spots from everywhere, 33 out of favors, 37 on gold, 93 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 92 ball, 86 ball, and 92 speed acceleration, 94 lateral quickness, 92 interior perimeter as well. Here's the deal, guys. Tendency wise, very solid. Brooke Lopez based on very quick shift to dribble style, Kobe size of escape. So it's going to come down to his badges. And I think he is really, really, really solid in my team. Why? You give him Don Nelson and he's basically an invincible. 99 three ball speed, interior perimeter, 94 lateral quintus. I mean, this card for a token reward, guys, is really, really, really good. If you have the tokens, Anton's a really good option. Oscar on the other side, 6'5, 6'8 wingspan, badge wise, basically the same. 97 three ball, 95 driving to 96 three ball, 98 ball. No. Card basically an invincible card outside of the 80 interior. The 80 interior is a little bit low for my liking, but everything else Oscar does it is going to be incredible. 49 on very quick, basically another JR Smith quick dribble style. Obviously, the Lucas size up escape. Oscar is going to be good in my team as well, but how good is he better than Anton? I think I would give the advantage slightly to Anton Jameson over Oscar, but you can't go wrong either way. Mike Conley, I think level 33 uh, reward here, 6'1", 6'5", wingspan. The card's not going to be great. I mean, if he's a season reward, not going to be great. Quick dribble style, Kobe size of skate, got him on the back. Great dribble six, 22 on very quick. It's just a 71 interior. That's not cutting it for this day and age. Sam Cassell in the exchange, 6'3", 6'6", wingspan. This is hot spots above the break. 79 interior, 75 block. What? I mean, the exchange, you can't ever expect cards to be that good. Jump shot, 18 on very quick. Look, I get it. Dribbling, he's going to be good, but there's more to the picture than just dribbling. Come on, man. Jamal Wilkes up next. Now, this card... Triple third online, we gotta have a change of release. Gotta have a change of release. 94. Okay, they changed his release. So let, let, let's talk about it. 6'6, six, 6'9 six, six, wingspan, hot spots forever. Basically everywhere on the court. 33 out of famers, 39 on gold. 93 ball, 95 driving, 95 speed ball, 90 ball handle, 95 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. Basically an invincible card, and he's gonna be one of the best little pure locks in the entire game with basically every Hall of Fame badge you can ask for. Tendency wise, good. Quick dribble style. I don't love his dribble sticks outside of that. 
jump shot 94 and very quick gonna be pretty solid there jamal wilkes is okay i'm not gonna sit here and gas him but for triple threat online he's better than the jamal wilkes i thought we were gonna get now lamarcus aldridge i think is in the vault if i'm if i'm thinking correctly i think he's in the vault start with the release brooke lopez vase on very quick okay 611 74 wingspan 94 three ball decent driving standing dunk playmaking not great speed not great defensively not great I don't love this car. I don't love LaMarcus Aldridge. He's not horrible, guys, but an 86 speed acceleration for late May and in some of these other cards we're getting. I'm not very high on LaMarcus Aldridge. Joe Dumars, Ascension Reward. Look at this first. Jump shot, 36 on very quick, just a slow release. But outside of the release, you're looking at a really, really, really solid card in my team. Defensively, going to lock people down. Tendency-wise, perfect. Even dribble sigs, really solid. Just that jump shot, 36 on very quick. But if you're just starting the game and get him out of the ascension, you're getting a very solid point guard in my team. The most important reward for me is the unlimited reward. Michael Finley, 6'7", 6'10", wingspan. I don't, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. 97 three ball, 95 driving, 95 speed with ball, 92 ball, 96 speed acceleration, 97 ladder quickness. Badge wise, it looks okay, right? It looks okay and tendency wise is okay. John Wall base on very quick, quick dribble style. He does have Trey Young dribble six, so as well as the D Rose size up. So I can't be too mad about it. Scotty moving by the back. I was going to say, is he even better than Richard Jefferson? But I think because of the Trey Young dribble six, he might have the advantage. I don't think he does though. I still think Richard Jefferson is, is gonna be nearly just as good and that's kind of a problem to me. Finley does have the Trey Young dribble six, so if you need that for a player, I mean, I guess you're getting a solid guard. Moses Malone up next, center power forward, 6'10", 7'2", wingspan, 33 out of favors, 35 on gold. Remember, it's a free draft reward, right? Draft, yeah. 85, three ball, 90 driving dunk, standing dunk is really high there too. 91, two ball, 86 ball, 93 speed acceleration, 93 ladder quickness. Great interior. Perimeter is going to get boosted if you have Monty Williams, for example. Defensive badge is really solid as well. Jump shot one on very quick. Okay, I can get behind that. Quick dribble style as well. Now, for the first time in a long time, guys, we're getting a really good draft reward in Moses Malone. You can get him out of the draft. You can play him at power forward. He is a really solid reward in my team. Agent Zero up next. X some base on very quick. I, I guess we'll see what that's like. I'm not really that high on it coming into it. Quick dribble style. Kobe says escape. Scotty moving by the back. Stat wise, very solid. I mean, 88 interior, 88 strength. Can't ask for more. Again, he's on the wheel in clutch time. He's probably going to be one of the more fun cards to use in the entire game. It's that simple for Gilbert Arenas. Probably not going to be that great, but X and base on very quick. Great dribble six. I can get behind that. Now, this Fernando Martin, maybe agent clutch time reward i'm trying to think i think he's the 100 win reward right i don't know there i think he's the 100 win award and agent zeros on the wheel six nine seven one wingspan 83 three ball is a little bit low but outside of the three ball look at the car i mean outside of his low three ball which we can fix look at the car defensively great playmaking wise great finishing wise great six nine seven one wingspan animation rudy base i'm very quick quick dribble style steve francis trey young now nah, this card is the best reward we got so whatever it takes to get Fernando Martin, go get him. He's the best reward we got. Why power forward primary? So he can play small forward? Now, I just realized he could play small forward. I thought he was a power forward center. He can play small forward? Nah, this card at the small forward might be the best small forward in the game, and I'm not even gassing it. Yes, shooting-wise, you're going to need to apply some things, but my goodness, this card is elite. Fernando Martin is him in my team. And last, but certainly not least, I mean, they gave him jump shot 80. This card is horrible. If you want to grind for Ant, you can. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say it, it's horrible, but they needed to change his release. And unless they change his release, I'm 100% not grinding for Ant. It, it's just disrespectful. We're in season seven, six weeks long, and at the end of it, you get Anthony Edwards with jump shot 80. That's horrible. Change his release, and maybe I'll decide to grind for but another invincible card. Who am I highest on? Fernando Martin by far. Michael Finley may be second, but those two guys really catch my eye. Token rewards are both solid. Who am I not so high on? Tim Hardaway, not worth grinding for. LaMarcus Aldridge, definitely not worth grinding for. Moses Malone, I thought, was pretty solid as well. So, in general, I'm excited about Fernando. It's that simple. Let me know who you guys are excited about down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.